Okay, then I'll share my screen. Okay, can you see the agenda that's pulled up? Okay, so I'm going to call to order the Town of North Sterlington Sustainability Committee um, special meeting August 11th, 2021, 7 p.m. And um, for a roll call, Alexis Khan present. John Lindsay present. Greg Pasula present. Pat Turner present. Okay. And Tula Balastrasi. Thank you, everyone. Um, the next order of business. Um, so Tula has been very kind and has been drafting all the meeting minutes for our prior meeting. So um, my uh, we talked about the fact that we're going to review these um, for the committee. I sent them in a you know, this afternoon, but I know it wasn't enough time for everybody to review. Um, my understanding, and Tula, you can confirm this, is that we don't need to vote on them. Um, it's just a matter of making sure that everybody is um, in agreement or, you know, if there's any changes that we should make. Is that correct? Correct. So normally I would just um, ask if there's any, uh, anything that needs to be edited. I know on the, um, the first meeting I missed, um, I know I didn't get the time the meeting ended, so I just need to add the time on the June 22nd meeting, a uh, time of adjour adjournment. And I think you did send that to me. Yeah, and I can I can pull that back up um, okay. and give that to you. But um, do you want me to, is, is everybody's preference, um, I don't know if it, should I just leave it on the screen for, you know, couple minutes and we look at them um, on the screen or does everybody want to take more time and you know we can re revisit this at the next meeting if that's if ever everybody would prefer that um, since we don't have to vote on them um, either way I mean we can we can read them out briefly right just quick quick review give it a minute sure so well, um, let me know when to put, turn to the next page. It's also it, just for reference, it's in your email as well, in case you'd rather mm -hmm. look at it in your email instead of looking at the screen. Um, and I had, I had, there are a couple little, uh, only things I caught in my initial review and I communicated to Tula, it wasn't anything substantive. It was more um, like spelling things. Uh, so I would say like, there were a couple main spellings. If, if that's it, um, we can make sure those get fixed, but that's more substantive, I suppose. Oh yeah, autocorrect. Always wants to spell your name K-H-A-N. <laughs> Which I don't care at all. I was, I you can spell my name however you want. But uh, <laughs> but I, I also caught, um, I think it was Christine, it was Christina one time or something like that. Um, oh, okay. Things like, you know. I'm sure she doesn't care either, but I just thought in the mm -hmm. interest of reviewing them, I would point out what I found. Mm -hmm. That looks good to me. That's for the um, 22nd, that was the original one. Um, mm -hmm. Then moving to the 20, or sorry, July 8th, these are the minutes everybody can see. Mm. This is the one where we had Abe join. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like the Christina. Where is that? It's on point three um, sustainable CT program. Um, and then the. Oh, I see it. All right. Center. Okay, thanks. Or line, sorry, I should say. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, let me find. Is 
We're good. Uh -huh. Yeah, the only thing I had um, uh, to love for the seven, eight minutes for the, um, the ones that we're reviewing right now, the point to everything in composting projects. Um, I, 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 that, I, I wrote that verbatim, so I'm oh. not sure what he was, you know, mm -hmm. That's exactly what he said. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, okay, no, that's that's fine. I was like, what is everything and like everything in the composting or everything like related to composting or every other project plus composting? Um, if you want, I can clarify that with Abe. And if you want, I think he, he was he was discussing. I think the match program for the for and the different. Um, limits um yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i wrote down the, what he said <laughs> no that's 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 all you can do it was just i was like what what does that mean um uh for that first meeting by the way i just found the meeting ended at 7 13 p.m okay thank you sure um okay i can i mean i think it's fine but i just and I can clarify that with Abe, but I just wasn't, that was my only point when I was reading it, I was confused, but um, okay. And then the last minutes were the um, July 20th meeting. Anything else on this? Are we all okay? Okay, great. All right, so I'll make the revisions and then send them over to Antoinette. Perfect. Thank you very much, Tula. You're welcome. Okay, so we go back to the agenda. Um, so on the topic of progress, um, I thought I would, I'm not sure, if, let me know if you can see this now. This is the um, North Sternington Summer 2021 checklist. Does it show you like a spreadsheet or are you still on the agenda? No, oh, good, the checklist. Okay, perfect. So um, the, I had a um, review this morning with uh, the fellows from Sustainable CT. Um, they, I also then had a subsequent um, conversation with Bailey from the town of North Sternington. She's the assistant. I talked to Mike Ergo yesterday and um, he, he said, you know, she's can be really our point person to a certain extent on some of the areas that she's kind of aggregating, filling out worksheets, aggregating um, pieces of documentation that she can get from notably like Mike and Christine. Um, so she's really internally can dedicate a lot of her time to helping us kind of get through some of these when it's a matter of just, you know, documenting things that have already been done and that we can pull together uh, from different sources in, within the town. Um, so I think uh, we are in pretty good shape that it was very um, kind of uplifting, I should say, to hear that um, based on you know, kind of where we stand and what we need to kind of clean up. The fellows were pretty, you know, they said we have a, a decent shot at getting silver. You know, he can never guarantee anything. And obviously we, it's based off of what we've said that we think that we can get together by then. Um, it's not based on what we have currently because there's still a lot of open items that, you know, they're still working on the worksheets and things like that. Um, but it was nice to hear that he didn't, he, he was, uh, they were definitely of the mindset that we were really close, not like you're, you're really far down. So why are you even trying? It was not that at all, which was um, encouraging. Um, 
So on what I, what the other thing I will note that the fellows will add between now and our next meeting, um, and they're really pretty good about turning this around. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have it within the next day or so is um, we had some new initiatives that we were thinking that we'd be able to do new as in not something that we already applied for last cycle that wasn't comprehensive enough to get credit, but rather something that was kind of a new item, not necessarily something brand new that we're doing between now and August 24th, certainly, but something that could be, could be, um, const could constitute like a new item, a sub action um, for the town. And so he's adding those in because we had um, identified those with a prior meeting with Mike, Christine, and Bailey, and they weren't captured on this tracking spreadsheet. And I said, for the purposes of just making sure that everything is in here that we're really actively working on to get to the certification deadline, can you add those? And so he's going to add those. And so this will be even more comprehensive. Some of them were different trainings that within the that were um, pertaining to whether certain towns uh, employees had taken particular training, such as on um, sustainable uh, yeah. um, procurement and things like that. So um, that's further to be fleshed out, whether we'll be able to get points for those. Um, but it was what we sort of think were um, possible uh, areas that we could get points for. So um, what I've done thus far, so I guess my point is that there, there will be more added to this spreadsheet within the next you know, two or three days by the fellows, um, which I will then go through once he's added those and kind of, you know, figure out who's the point person and who I need to, um, this, so actually he might've already started because this was one of the ones that we were talking about implement sustainable purchasing. And I see that since our call this morning, he added this. And as you can see, there's no one assigned in the, that was like my assignment, uh, column. I kind of designated it that I don't really know what he meant by it, but that's what I've been using. Um, and so he's added that. So I haven't gone to this one and decided, you know, okay, who do I follow up with on this? But um, this should be a comprehensive document on kind of like where we stand and who's responsible for something. So on everything, um, I did go through this every tab and every item um, with Bailey today to kind of, okay, what are you working on? Um, what do I still need to follow up on with certain individuals? Like, for example, she was originally, I was going to work with Bailey on this, but she thought it would be better to kind of follow up directly with um, the chair of the um, economic development because uh, she thinks that they've already done something with it. So um, some of it was reassigning, um, like I should be reaching out to somebody else besides Bailey versus what is Bailey actively working on versus who do I need to touch base with otherwise. Um, so I think, uh, I think I had, um, kind of filled this in following our last, um, meeting. Um, and I don't know if anybody has had a chance to review it and whether based on your review of this, if you did review it, whether there were any, you know, cause I, in some of them, for example, I, um, oh, this is Bill, let's see, I think it was for, which tab was it? Um, it might have been. Oh gosh, sorry. I know that there was something. I think it was energy, maybe, where I I thought, oh, I I remember that. You know, from our discussions, it sounded like John, you were working on um, these energy related, like tracking energy use in municipal and board and education buildings. So I I kind of like tentatively assigned it. Um, that you're sort of the point person for that, but I put the question mark knowing that you might, I might have mis um, allocated nope. that. Um, so I don't know if anybody had any kind of questions or corrections on what I sort of tentatively assigned, um, or if you had any kind of thoughts or concerns in general about this spreadsheet. I, I am seeing, um, just to go back, these are all new as of this afternoon evening, because when I was in it earlier with Bailey, they were not here. So the fellows have already seemingly updated a lot of what we had discussed as kind of potential planned. Again, nothing that we had uh, um, gone for last year, but may be something that we will be able to um, get credit for by the end of the cycle.
So any thoughts or concerns on that? I guess I would just say, if you wanna go back in now that um, this has been expanded with this blue color coding to mean that it's um, planned, you know, maybe we might, we might try to do it. It's kind of brand new. It's not something that's being corrected based on feedback on a last sub action submission, but rather sort of like giving it a shot from scratch. Um, and if you have any, you know, if there's something that you say, oh, you know, I kind of know about this, um, uh, you know, I want to take this one, feel free to just put your name in that column M, or if I've inaccurately put your name next to it, um, feel free to <laughs> correct me um, and change it. Um, but I, I went through a lot of them with Bailey today, and um, I have uh, been corresponding. I, the big area of mine in particular was to um, liaise with Bill Ricker to get a lot of the conservation committee, conservation commission owned areas that have that pertain to um, these actions. Um, I know he's back from vacation. He and I exchanged some emails. I left him a voicemail. So, you know, some of them are still very much in my court in terms of um, getting in touch with the right person to get this information. Um, but a lot of it is in Bailey's court, certainly. Um, I've also been, uh, Nita and I have been playing telephone tag on the historic assets. We do have something new to submit for that, but we wanna see if we can add more to the great work that she already did from um, like between last year and this year. So we might be able to get like five or 10 extra points for that. So I'm waiting to hear from her whether that's viable or not. Um, but that will be something kind of new to add to points that we didn't have last year. So that's good. And one thing that I did ask um, came up in conversation today with the fellows was there were some areas and I'm going to try to find one, just a few, but there were some that um, we did not get credit for last time. Um, and based on the feedback, here's a perfect example. Um, I mean, this might not be the one, but here's like an example of something, the one that I've color coded in red. Um, we tried to get certification last cycle or for that sub action. It, we did not get it for reasons that were explained by the sustainable CT feedback. Um, and then in discussing it with Christine and Mike and Bailey, it was determined that this would be not something feasible. Like based on what the feedback was, we weren't going to be able to meet the criteria to get um, credit for it. And so the reason the fellows were like, oh, we'll, we'll just take it out. And I said, oh, I'd rather leave it in, um, but just color code it to indicate that we are not working on it actively right now, because I thought that things like this could be kind of what we revisit after, you know, we just get through the certification application for the 24th. And then this might be something that when we talked about last committee meeting about what we're what is going to inspire us for initiatives that will go will will take kind of on a go forward basis for the next year, um, I wanted to stay aware of these because we've clearly done something, but maybe we need to do more, and therefore it's something that you know might be interesting to kind of focus on. So I, I did keep these in and just um, thought that they might be helpful to review as a team after the certification is over just to get inspiration for what we want to do. Any questions on this? Any um, particular updates that anybody wants to share? I don't have any significant updates. Um, I did meet with Valley. I got all the names of the different contacts um, around town for the various different buildings. I typed up an email and sent it to all of them and I got a response back from um, three of the individuals. Um, I'll follow up with the other two who didn't respond and one of them said I couldn't really do what I was asking to do because it's a town owned property. So oh. instead of ruffling any feathers, um, I might have worded my request incorrectly I was going to circle back and bring it up on this call and then figure out if maybe the best step was to go to copy Mike on it or have Mike send a request and say, hey, this is what he's trying to do. Um, mm. So um, getting down the road, moving forward and 
Um, Jim responded back from IT, by the way, Alexis, and uh, I'm going to write up the whole format of, I think, what we're looking for, and I'll submit it back to you based on the discussions we've had, and I he indicated it wouldn't be much of an issue to uh, create a link for various different sustainability efforts and the people could sign up for the link. It would give them notifications that the new updates were there and they could go to the website and see updates to the site itself as well as, well as get the link. So um, he thought it'd be fairly straightforward to do. And he was setting, he's actually setting up a town email, if I'm not mistaken, or something to that effect. Maybe it was an email to a sustainability group. I can't remember. So uh, he actually, um, he was going to, he and I have been emailing. Um, he was going to maybe try to join tonight, but he wasn't sure yesterday and today. He was um, kind of unsure if he'd be able to join. So he did get back to me saying I had sent him a meeting invite and he was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but I'll try. But he did share, I will share with you. Um, I was, if he was here, I was going to have him walk through it, but um he did share a mock-up of the website that he was proposing. I think we're talking. I think we're talking about the same thing, um, and I will share what he's done so far. And that was one of the things I was going to solicit your feedback. Um, he he modeled it after the town of Essex had something similar, which was great that he found something existing that he could utilize as kind of a template um, because obviously you know they had put some thought into it and it seemed like a good format um, so this uh, let me share the mock-up um, I thought it was I, I made a couple comments and he implemented the comments um, and hold on one second I'm gonna stop my share um, but it's great to hear that um, you know, it, it's something feasible that the town can host. You know, it doesn't, it's not like we have to, because I was thinking about creating a, like a Squarespace page and all of that. And this is so much um, easier. And obviously I think better visibility being on the town's website rather than be a separate website that would sort of be too separated. Um, so I will show this to you. It doesn't have any content yet. It's a, kind of a visual mock-up. So the links don't work. Um, but um, can you see my screen? Okay. Yep. So um, again, you know, it's sort of a rough draft, but um, the idea is that it would be kind of this landing page. And then uh, this is again, modeled after the town of Essex the sustainability website, um, have all of these different, you know, the images would be links to separate pages. So um, a little bit about, um, you know, what the committee, I think this can largely be probably drawn from um, the, the sort of description of the committee from the town's, uh, from the sustainable, sustainability committee that was already, um, you know, proposed on the site. Um, or we can, you know, if we wanna profile us individually, you know, talk about our interests or things like that, that we could certainly do that, but that's just a, you know, general about us page. Um, this, I, this project is sort of like, what are we working on, you know, as a, when I think we start to codify what we really want to set forth and, and do as bigger projects over the course of the next year, um, we can kind of talk more about these and hopefully get some, um, uh, involvement from the town with through this website on what we're proposing to do and what we're working on and how people otherwise can get involved. Um, one specifically on pollinator pathways and what's going on uh, with that. Um, resources, this is sort of, and, and Town of Essex had a great page. And you know what, I'm gonna show you the Town of Essex's too um, after this, but they had a great, I mean, very dense, really quite comprehensive on a lot of different topics pertaining to sustainability. Um, so, you know, that could just be populated with different articles and, you know, what, whatever we come across. Um, Sustainable CT also has some resources so we can kind of integrate some of those if we want, if we want to. Um, the match fund, we could have a link to the um, crowdsourcing page and kind of uh, profile what we're actively working on in terms of the grant programs um, so that people interested in contributing and also learning about what we're working on in terms of grants through Sustainable CT can have access to that information. Um, 
this I thought could have a little bit about the um, the sustainable CT program itself and what the certification means, what our status is, and then when we are at points where, let's say, we're working on you know gold certification. I mean, it doesn't exist now, but you know what I mean. Let's say in a future year we're working on gold, we could sort of say like, you know, here's where we stand on points, and here's how far we have to get to like a tracker where people can kind of like have fun seeing um, where we stand. Um, and then this tip of the week, this is sort of what I thought could be, you know, the new, like resources I think are more of like, a, I thought of more of like a library and tip of the week I thought could be more of like something that we want to highlight that the based on the at town of Essex's page, it seemed like resources you kind of got a little overwhelmed and it was great if you were looking for something very particular, like I really want to know about, um, you know, mm -hmm water uh, conservation. But typically we could just be like, hey, I listened to this great podcast and it was, you know, something great about sustainability or um, so something quicker that people could come to is just sort of a something brief that they could either, um, you know, listen to or read or um, would be in a piece of information that's just more like visit um, and get some inspiration rather than comb through a bunch of resources. Um, and then, you know, contact us and then anything social media related. So that's sort of the mock-up so far. Um, I think that looks great. I, I saw Jim and Mike this week, but I, I knew they were doing it, but I haven't seen the mock-up. I think it's, uh, one question. They took this from Essex? Yeah, so I'll show you Essex's. Yes, that's, uh, my question is on the uh, Pollinator Pathway logo. I like that because it has the words on it, but everything I've seen for Connecticut towns, that's not, the only time I've seen that logo is stuff from England. So uh, oh, really? it's, it's different. It, 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 it works because it has the name. The other logo doesn't have the name, it's just a symbol. But uh, it's very different from that. It doesn't oh. look anything like that. I'm, I'm curious that Essex is using that because I haven't, I've only seen that from England. <laughs> oh. That's cool. okay. If they want, if it, you know, if, if other towns have it that way, it looks so, I, I don't mind leaving it or I can send the other one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he, he said that he got, um, he did say about the images that he was like, oh, they came from um, just, he was like, these, these are just sort of placeholders and we- mm, got, Okay, um, I can send you that. Okay. Yeah, he, he said that um, he was like, he was like, don't, you know, I just pulled these off of different mm. web sites. And uh -huh. so if we wanted to correct any of the images that he's using, he said, that's fine. Um, here is Sustainable Essex. So this is their page and it is a standalone okay. page. It's not on, you know, theirs is different because it's it's mm. not on the town's website. So I actually think there's a benefit to, for it to be on the town's website. Um, oh, definitely. There's, um, as you can see, the, the, you, it's very clear where he got his inspiration in terms of mm -hmm. each of these is a tile of that topic. And, and um, we just added some that, you know, mm -hmm. based on what we we want for the t for North, North Stonington, we can add anything else. Um, this is just sort of my preliminary, like, oh yeah, this sounds good. But here, as an example, resources, you know, they have tips for conserving water. You know, it's it's very long and dense. Mm. And mm. while I think it's great, um, that's why I wanted the tip of the week to be just. Boom, one thing, because this is like, if I saw this, I'd be like, unless I'm looking for something specific, I don't feel like I would go to this page and be like, I'm now going to sit here and read everything they list on this, you know, it's just, Agreed. who has time? Um, so that's why I was thinking to differentiate it, but, uh, but I think it's helpful because obviously if you're looking for something like, I really want to learn more about Energize CT, then great, it's here. Um, so that's the model mm -hmm. that I can go back to. I have a question, uh, a, a comment on the, Pat, I'm curious, the pollinator pathways, is it what I'm looking at on the internet? It's kind of a purple and green butterfly. The yeah, yeah. 
Um, That's sort of the standard. Okay. I was just curious. I, the only thing, I think it's really cool. I, I would suggest at the top, um, there's some indication for sign up. Would you like to sign up for Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I have a bunch of stuff to send. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got all that. Yeah, I, I told Alexis, I, because I'm leaving town, I told her I'd dump a whole bunch of stuff on her later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky her. <laughs> Sign I gotta, up. I got to tell you, I'm already learning being part of this group because I didn't know what a pollinator pathway was, Pat. So I looked it up. Well, most people don't. Well, I, I, a year ago, 18 months ago, I didn't either. So. <laughs> It's kind of cool. So, and uh, I mean, we've got, we finally got a line on the map, which is the village from Rocky Hollow Road through the village to Main Street and includes, pub, you want to include public areas and homeowners. So include the library is going to need a children's garden. There's going to be some stuff near the road at the Congregational Church. The Garden Club will add to the back of the village green in the parking lot. And a trifold went out to all the homeowners along the pathway last week. That's so awesome. that's where we are. That's great. And actually this might be a good so I'll send I'll send the link of the mock-up to everybody and if you have any feedback I will definitely tell mm -hmm. Jim about the sign up um, you know button that we want to make sure that people subscribe to this page um, but the uh, maybe is this a good juncture since we were talking about pollinator pathways to talk about the matching grant program and I do have an um, I know Pat we were talking about the you know, Minutia of bank accounts and things like that, but I do have an update on that if you want to discuss it. But um, mm -hmm. do you want to just generally talk about what's the stat the status of the grant program? Um, well, uh, been working on it, um, but uh, we hit a bunch of obstacles as far as setting up the funding. But uh, we got we got the page all together, um, so we got a good pitch and a letter did. Go uh, initially, when I started this, I listed people, oh, about 15 of them that were head of various organizations like the Conservation Commission, the Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, etc., and sent them an invitation to start all this and got a response from only a few. But I sent a letter to all those people again, uh, telling them that the crowdfunding was coming and more information. So, you know, to start getting people aware and um, it, you should kind of let a pe few people know so they're itching to dig in their pockets. There are a couple <laughs> people that are itching to dig in their pockets. But that's um, good. Yeah, well, I mean, not big. You know, we're not looking for big. Um, right. It's interesting, Abe, uh, a lot of materials will be donated for things in the public areas. You know, we're not trying to spend a thousand dollars, but uh, talking to Abe, he uh, looked at what we got and said, you got to ask for more. <laughs> so I added my budget as much as I could. And with a lot of padding came up to 600 and something. So we'd be asking for half of that. But if, if I get a third of that, we'll be just fine. Oh, good. <laughs> but uh, I, I did all the padding I could. <laughs> well, that's, that's good then, because it's... um. You know, this is sort of like biting off something that I feel like we can definitely chew, you know, as our first stab so. at this, um, not going for like, we're going to do a project that costs $50,000. <laughs> Good luck. <No. laughs> I mean, this is for, you know, augmenting donated materials and augmenting donated plants. And uh, unfortunately, you know, these uh, grants don't... Um, count on like kind donations or labor hours, you know, like right. some grants do. So we're, we're stuck with just money. <laughs> Cause we um, could come up with a lot if we added all the rest of the stuff in. And just to clarify, so the link cannot go live until 
the bank account information right. is in the system. Is that yes. correct? Okay. Yeah. So, and talking, talking to a couple people in the team, there are four of us, uh, this week, since it's not going live when we thought it was going to, we have the ending pegged at September 21st because if COVID behaves, huh, I've got a vacation on the 26th for three weeks, but there's a good chance I'll be here. So they were thinking we should lengthen it. And in, I mean, the plan right now is to start, you know, get sites prepared and stuff and do some planning in the fall and then continue in the spring. But uh, if we can't get this lined up, maybe we just extend the date further before we go live and just say it will start in the spring and just do um, cost-free pre preparation in the fall. So I don't know, I mean, it's up in the air right now. So on the logistics of a bank account, and um, I'm just, I can certainly share this offline, but I thought I would share mm -hmm. it now if everybody's interested, just in case it pertains to future um, mm. community match grant programs and dealing with this before, because I had originally, talked to Mike and Christine about, you know, could a town account just yep. be set up with titled with, you know, this particular thing. And I guess, Pat, you said that they got back to you saying no. Right. So um, what I, um, again, this is, if it were opened at Chelsea Groton, I'm, I'm only sharing what we would, what we could, what we would do if we went the route of, but I guess I should say by no means does not, it does not need to be open to Chelsea Groton by any means. Um, I just, because I'm a banker, uh, thought I would find out what our criteria would be um, from the standpoint, because I know you were running into some hurdles based on the fact that it's not like an LLC or something with corporate box. So you know, I talked to Dana at Chelsea Groton. That's oh, you did? Where, okay. Here, that's where I got the information yesterday. So um, I talked to... Um, my colleague in business banking operations, because she knows documentation, like I, I, she's sort of our subject matter expert when it comes to exactly what you need. She's mm -hmm. what, who everybody at the branch would ultimately ask if there was a um, questionable situation. And she basically said, from what I described to her, since we have, um, I know it's a little bit of a weird situation because it is, um, you know, it pertains to some people with garden clubs. So there's kind of a cross between the people from the garden club, such as yourselves who are working on pollinator pathways, but also there's the sustainability committee. But she said, if we're, if we're kind of um, have some level of discussion, juris not jurisdiction, but um, some impact on the pollinator pathways program and this crowdfunding campaign, she said it can be a unincorporated association that the sustainability committee meetings will be able to be provided as the proof of this is why we're establishing this account. And so she said, if we just use the minutes from our sustainability committee meetings, as well as the only thing that we would need to provide outside of that is um, we would need to get an EIN number for um, yeah. that, on, an, on a, you know, call it the pollinator pathways, uh, mm -hmm whatever. And she said, you know, I've done it before. I'm happy to do it. Um, if that would be like, I've, I've filed for an EIN before, so I'm happy to do that if you want. And so she said with just the EIN from the IRS, as well as um, the minutes from the meeting, we could establish an account. Um, this um, The resolution for that account would be signed by you, Tula, if that's okay with you, because you'd be your secretary of the sustainability committee. Um, so you would be sort of signing, not as a signer for the account, but just the signing of the resolution. Um, we could, um, like if you and that other person, Pat, like you as a committee member, Pat, would um, it would sort of be assumed that you can be a signer uh, as to if Tula signs off on that. But um, if somebody else outside the committee needs to also be a signer on that account, um, we could uh, just get a letter of permission that would also be signed by Tula just saying, okay, she, this person is not on the sustainability committee, but we are authorizing this person to be added to the account as a signer. Mm -hmm. So that seems to be the simplest way in terms of not having to 
you know, generate LLC documents or anything like that. Like it's yeah. pretty straightforward. Um, and, and she was perfectly comfortable with that. Uh, cause I explained, I was like, it's kind of a interesting situation here. I'm not really sure where this falls. And she said, if the sustainability committee has documented meetings saying that, you know, this match program is what, you know, we're involved in and the pollinator pathways is one of these match programs, then she was comfortable. So I just wanted to offer that because it might come up again and again, as we're going through these different mm -hmm. ma um, community match sustainable CT programs that as long as we have an EIN in minutes, we should be fine. Okay, so as far as trying to do this that way, um, I can't sign anything because I won't be here as of 6.30 tomorrow morning. Right, um, right. Marianne Buckley, she and I went to the, um, she happens to be president of the garden club at the moment, but she was there for the place. We, she went with me to talk to Dana yesterday and I could give you her contact information. And then now another option, um, does it, I don't know if, if it can be done that way. Chelsea Groton has a Chelsea Groton Foundation, doesn't it? So would they be willing to, to do this? So the Instead of trying to get something else signed up, can Chelsea Groton do it? Um, Chelsea Groton, I I can ask, but I, my understanding from the Chelsea Groton Foundation is that that would be um, if we, let's say, wanted to apply for a grant from the foundation yeah. for funding for the pollinator pathways. Um, but that grant cycle is only, I'm actually on the foundation board. Yeah. So um, uh, that might be kind of also a, like, I don't know if that would be no, that's that. separate. Yeah, I, I, but I, I thought maybe it could also do that, but it can't. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we like open account. I don't think we'd be able to open an account that's mm -hmm. at Chelsea Groton that's um, like in the name of the foundation for yeah. a grant. That's um, it would be to apply for a particular grant from the foundation, I believe. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, well, if uh, if tool if you're um, open to this and i can tell marianne what we've discussed and i can give you marianne's contact information and uh if if um if tool and she signs it because i can't sign it because i'm right not physically present right um, we could try that yeah and we can do also things um like it might not matter for Marion and Tula since we're all in town, but mm -hmm. um, we do have like even account opening could be done via eSign. So, mm -hmm. you know, Tula, you wouldn't even have to go to the branch or anything. We can do it mm -hmm. all online eSign now. Well, I um, I wouldn't guarantee that I could eSign because they're often and don't have connections. So I couldn't guarantee that. Yeah, I could maybe do it, but I can't guarantee that I could do anything from my end. Maine is complicated. <laughs> um, so, okay, I will see, see what we could do from there. Okay. Thank you for all your research. Oh, sure. We've been, we've been, we've been trying to research from this end and come up with it. Well, as I explained in the email today, right, came to a lot of dead ends. Yeah, and it's also it is. Um, that's why I consulted this one person in particular because yeah. there, when there are nuances, it's very hard. You know, it's very hard for other people to kind of determine what they what is really going to be required like at the at the branch level it's really you know because mm -hmm. they have to know too many things to be able to specialize in something like what would you know in some as case with such as this um so that's why I felt comfortable with her providing her feedback on exactly what we would need and especially because I know the situation and was able to explain it to her mm -hmm. um so I'm pretty confident that that will be fine on the bank side as long as we're okay with that Got it. But again, it doesn't need to be open to Chelsea Grime. This is I can't opine on any other. No, that's all right. That's years. that's the local bank. That's where <laughs> that's where I went. Um, okay. John, anything on the community match program that you wanted to update us on on your side? 
working on too many things. So, uh, um, what are you referring to? The community? Uh, the, oh. Yeah, sorry. The the um, the spearheading a grant program, um, like a, a crowdfunding campaign for. Um, no, I haven't made any further progress. Okay. The, the focus of what I've been doing is really the energy audits for the six different sites. So yeah, no, I haven't been further on that. No, that sounds good. And I and I I think um, if I understand correctly on what we sort of um, on the match grant program, it it's a great idea to you know kind of start with the pollinator pathways because Pat's already done so much work on it. It's like, again, you can bite off a kind of manageable um, chunk to uh, start with and see, you know, kind of get our feet wet and then hopefully um, continue it on. Because it doesn't seem to be, you know, we're not limited in terms of once we finish this one, we can just parlay it into mm -hmm. another one. So I think that's a, a, the beauty of it is we can kind of get our feet wet with this and then see what the appetite is for other ones of different topics. Okay, any other questions, comments that anybody wants to raise? I just have a really brief update. I had talked about that energy efficiency program through Energize CD. I had um, reached out to one of the coordinators and we're scheduled to meet either tomorrow or next week. Oh, great. Sort of start unpacking what that might offer us. Um, the deadline was going to be the end of August. They extended it to October, right. beginning right. of October. So uh, we've got some time. That'll be for next cycle next year, but some cool stuff that I'll have more to talk about later once I get a sense of what um, what's, what this program actually offers for us. Great. That's awesome. So yeah, my, my priority, as you can imagine, just personally is um, trying to reel in all the different pieces to get the, you know, the best certification um, package uploaded in time for the deadline and then take a breath of fresh air, uh, pun intended, I guess. And then, you know, sort of let's look forward to what we really want to focus on as initiatives. Um, and certainly, you know, something like that, that's, as you said, sounds interesting. You'll learn more. It's not for the certification cycle, but it, it's something that we can, um, kind of keep the momentum on if it's something that you think uh, sounds reasonable based on your meeting. But yeah, I'm just kind of trying to get this done for the next two weeks and then we can sort of regroup and not be only worried about sub actions and that kind of thing. Yeah, I, think I say this every time, but if there's anything, I feel like I'm, I'm individually not doing anything to move us towards silver, silver, silver certification. Is there anything that can be done that I can help with? And Thank you. Um, I guess I would just say, if you want to take a look at um, particularly the ones in, in that tracking spreadsheet, if, if, if there's something that jumps out at you, oh my gosh, my mouse just died. Um, uh, the ones you know in that column M that doesn't have anything assigned because for some of them, they were just added. Um, if there's something that you say like, oh, you know, I think I might want to look into what we need for this. Um, certainly you can put your name next to it and reach out to me if you don't know what, you know, exactly it entails or anything like that. But otherwise, I think we're in kind of good shape in terms of knowing who's going to provide what. Um, but if you want to just kind of take a quick look at it, and if there's something that jumps out at you, um, that's it hasn't been assigned to somebody yet. Um, that would that would be great. But otherwise, I'm going to try to just reel in everything that I can for the last few weeks. Alexis, I was looking at um, number eleven housing. Mm -hmm. um, and I've already for uh, item eleven point one point one. I've already reached out to um, Kinsa, keeping North Torrington affordable. 
So I oh, have great. some of these um, required documents already, but as far as the other action items, I see your notes are, you know, check with Bailey. Do you want me to check with Bailey or do you, do you have, or do you want me to work with you? Cause I can get some of this data. Sorry, my cat is. <laughs> Um, I can pull some of this data like from MLS and stuff so I can pull these reports. Oh. Um, I'm not sure if like th this is information that Bailey already has or she's working on. So when we talked about this today, she was working on these worksheets. Um, I did upload the most recent, Julia had provided the most recent um, affordable housing plan that was presented, I believe yesterday's board of selectmen meeting right i think it was um i saw it on the agenda for yesterday's board of selectmen meeting and i i was waiting to see what the minute said but do you happen to know whether it was presented then i missed the meeting last okay. night it, it it was on the agenda and i was just planning on checking back that's why i said uh working on daily working on work, worksheets and meeting minutes from board of selectmen meeting yeah, i was just kind of taking notes for my own sake but um so that was some, a component of what could be uh, qualify for, for this section, um, the affordable housing plan, as well as making sure that it was incorporated in some presentation format in a board of selectmen meeting. But if you have, she didn't, this was one where Bailey was filling out the worksheets, but it didn't sound like she had all of this housing data. Okay. Um, so if you have it handy, that would be amazing. Um, she wasn't, it wasn't a slam dunk on like, she was kind of like, oh yeah, I think I need to find this, but I don't, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to ask Mike or something. Um, but if you have it handy, that would be amazing. Okay. All right. So I'll reach okay. out to her. Okay. I'm going to put Kiva and Bailey. Okay. Awesome. That's great. I'm sorry. I also have a minor update. One of the items on that list was, um, looking at see what lighting they've replaced with LED lighting. We may be relatively close to being able to check the box on it because I, uh, Don Hill did get back to me. Oh. Uh, all the lights in the town have been replaced and they're all LED and it was done oh, by wow. Eversource. So I've just got to find a contact at Eversource to validate the work was done. And I, I think we may be able to check that box. Oh, that's great. Trying to find which one. I don't think it was an M. It was, oh, install and, yeah, sorry, I'm scrolling too fast. Install efficient exterior lighting, I believe, right? Convert municipally and utility owned street lights. Is it that one? I think it is. I, I found that to be unusually specific regarding street lights because I thought they would want to look facility wide, but it's pretty specific around street lights. So I'll just, I'm going to reach out to Bailey and see if we have a contact at Eversource that I can um, get some information from this week. Okay, great. That's awesome. Okay. Anything else that anybody wants to discuss? No. All righty. Um, we have our, well, we're right eight o'clock on the button. Finally, I've kept one under time. Um, uh, I just will, oh, sorry, I need to go back. Um, oh, my computer system drives me crazy because it makes it, makes me go look at things. Um, A different system. Uh, so the next meeting, I know um, Pat, you'll be away, um, but the next meeting is scheduled currently for Tuesday the 17th from six to seven. Is that mm -hmm. um, work for everybody else? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Alrighty. So motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I wish you all a very lovely evening and thanks Thank again you. for you too. your flexibility. Have a good trip, Pat. Yeah, You've been doing a lot of work. <laughs> oh, I still got a lot more to do, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs>
Have a good okay. evening. Good night. Bye.